Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. So I'm Ritesh, super user from Power BI community and a former Tableau ambassador and first in the world to hold both the titles. And as promised, we are again here today to discuss more about PL300 questions. So the concept that we are going to learn today is uh, security and uh, a new section that is Power Story. So every concept will be presented to you in the form of a story. That's a bonus section that I have added. And if you like it, then let me know at the comment section. I will make it a part of my all the videos of the series. Today, we have a plan to learn role level security and a use case will be presented to you. And we'll try together, try to solve those questions at the end. Remember PL300 certification is divided into two different uh, types of questions. One is the regular ones, but, and the other one are like use cases. So I'll give you one example first. Use case will be like this. You will be presented with a scenario and there will be six to seven questions based on that scenario so let us read this scenario like so we are definitely going to have hands-on example but the scenario is raymond is the ceo of a retail firm daily needs he wants to establish a data analytics team under data and information branch ramesh works as a senior project manager for a major retailer while robert and sam are from different regions central and east and are only allowed to see data from their respective regions Radha is a client for this project who has the role of uh, access of member, the role of type member and lives in the region north. It will be presented with the use case scenarios and there can be some tables then they'll give you some fields with respect to those tables and there'll be some questions that will that'll go through these questions later on but somewhat like this. Remember for these uh, types of questions not allowed to go back and rectify it. You are, once you have check the answer submit it then you cannot go back and change that that's the major difference and it's very important for you to submit only when you are 100 percent sure you cannot come back and rectify it apart from the other questions where you can go back and you can flag it and you can come back and revise it here you cannot revise overall number of use cases may as per the different feedback maybe 15 to 20 percent of the overall questions that you have before we jump over to the question, let us try to understand the concept in a simple way. I have started this uh, new section called Power Story. I hope you will enjoy it. So let us try to relate role levels, Power BI role level security with the security that you have in your office. I used to work in Cisco system, Cisco system Bangalore and let me tell you it's one of the coolest place to be in. One of the coolest campus around that you can see. I mean video games, law, means like basketball, 3D games, massage chairs, what not. Definitely, if you want to enjoy all these facilities, you need to be a Cisco employee and for that. Well, you need to be a Cisco employee and in order to make this process smooth, you are provided with your employee access ID card, right? Those ID cards are provided to you so that you are the people who should take advantage of all the Cisco facilities which are there for Cisco employees, nobody else. And my next company was JP Morgan. So I'm not allowed to bring my Cisco employee ID access card and enter to JP Morgan or West Fargo, so forth and so on. Anyways, you'll not have that card. But even if you are the active employee of Cisco, I cannot make use of that Cisco access ID to enter JP Morgan. So similarly, in this case, Power BI case, Robert and Sam, they are from different region and they are supposed to see data set for only central and east region. There is a little twist also at the end where Radha is a client, but she's having the role of member. And so what she can see, we'll see that later. Well, there are two ways to achieve it. First is a static way. So we'll start with the static way. First of all, you need to create a report in the Microsoft Power BI desktop. And we do have one report, a pretty simple and basic one. And you can see my name over there. So I'm supposed to see only central region because I'm the manager for the region central. And let me include the region as well over there. Here you go. So you can see the region as well over there. So I'm the manager for the region central. So I need to see only sales for the region central. I should not be able to see Aaron, Sam or William region sales over there. Actually, I'm supposed to see only this thing, Ritesh and this is and this one, whatever you see in the highlighted form, form over there. So we do have the report, but it's important for you to understand the data model and the data set. I think it, it makes more sense to, to first see the data set and we have two uh, tables, major tables for this one. One is order where you have, you know, order ID, product subcategory, categories, a very important column region because with the help of this one, you are going to relate this very particular table with the table region over there, right? So you have region as well. 
Move, moving over to the other table region so it's a simple table as you can see region then you have manager remember you can have more managers for a particular region but for the ease of understanding we have only one manager over there so i am the manager for the region cent, uh, central and this is my email id as far as data model is concerned it's very important for you to uh, to set the relationship between the tables like region and orders and if i just click over there this is related with the field region and the relationship type is one to many remember for for a particular region you can have multiple transactions so it will be one to many and if i go back to our uh, microsoft document it says create a report import the data confirm the data model between both the tables that we have done so it's set correctly one to many create the report visuals and we have already done that so now let us move over to the second step that is create rls rls roles in power bi desktop by using dex so how you are going to do that so we just will just move over to the visual and you go to under modeling tab and uh, go to manage roles and create a role there okay so if i create a role say central it's actually already over there now let me make another one central rls okay that is based on region table and we have already ensured that it is related with ordered table and I say region equal to central. In other words, with the help of this DAX and this role, I'm ensuring that anyone having this very particular role can see only data related to the region central and I say save it. The next point that you would see over there is test the role in Power BI desktop. Now I have done that, but then how do I test it? So in order to test it, first of all, I need to come out of this filter and you can say view as and this is the role that we created, right? And I say, OK, and here you go. We are done. Whatever it was highlighted, it's there in the filtered form over there. It says that now viewing as a central. So if you say stop viewing, it will go back to the default position over there. Now, this is wave one, which is a sort of a static wave means for each region, you are creating a separate role. Can we do something better than this one? Let's see. But before thinking about a new way, let us first complete the steps over there. We have tested the roles in Power BI Desktop. Deploy the report to mouth. So let us deploy this. Means we need to publish it, right? So I publish it. Save it. Save it under the relevant workspace. Okay, I can replace it. Not a problem. Okay, it's published. Now I can open the report. Okay, the report is published. Now I can go to my particular work space is already there, but then I, I mean to say particular data set. So this is my data set. Uh, come to these three dots over there and go to security. And if you see, you can you will be able to see the new role that you created. And here I can allocate any user to that very particular role so ritesh is a part of this very particular role it says that how would you test add members test the roles in the power bi service so let us try to test that look how you can test in power bi service you come to this very particular role and go to three dot and you say test his role here you go and at the top you can see now viewing as central rls so definitely we have achieved that but what is the second way that is the dynamic way because in this case the downside is for every region you are creating a separate role so if there are four regions you are creating four roles and then you are allocating different users to that very particular role so you can do the same thing with only one role by making use of dynamic method that is role level security with the dynamic method so let us see how we can do that so let us again go back to our power bi desktop modeling uh, manage role so in this case we'll create a new role and let us say this as dynamic region okay and uh, here you go so within this dynamic region i go to region and here we'll have a new formula right so let me first show you one more field over there remember that within region we have one more field that is email Right, the, the email with the with which I have logged in. That's Ritesh based at dancing with data on dot on Microsoft.com. That's my email ID. So we are going to make use of this email field and one another function. 
that is user principal name or user name as well if you are at power bi service you can make use of user name as well so remember this you cannot make use this at uh, at desktop level because it will give you in the format of uh, domain then slash user i'll show you that basically what what it is what it will throw it returns the user principal name or in other words the user's login credentials or the email address with the help of which you are logging to power bi service so right now i'm logged in with this very particular email id and i have this dynamic rls okay now i'll set this at uh, region and i will make use of that very particular field that is email in this case right so i say email that is equal to so email is equal to user principal name okay so if you check over there uh, if you check the login uh, id name it's ritesh uh, based at dancing with data dot on microsoft.com so this is my login id of if that information is there with my email column of region then we are done it will check that whether my login id is equivalent to the email id or not and it will just take those many records and discard the rest of the one so i'll be able to see only region central the thing that you should notice over there that d is capital d is capital over there so that's why i'm making use of lower inside that dex expression so that's the reason i'm making use of lower so that it can convert convert cap capital d to lower d so let me just save this role the dynamic one and save it again publish my report replace it okay let me open it so let us now check whether the dynamic role level security is working fine as well like static or not so we'll repeat the same step we could we'll go to security dynamic rls we are not adding any members over there and i say test as role and boom here you go i can see the stats for the region central only because i am the manager for that very but you can see here only central stats related to central my name over there with central region a point that you should remember that you know if you go to my if you go to your workspace and go to access and you know that there are four different types of roles over there so remember this role level security is applicable to viewer role only so if you are contributor member or admin you are going to see the records anyways right this is applicable to viewer only another point to be noticed well we will we'll talk more about this roles in our future videos so stay tuned now i would request you to solve your questions on your own pause the video and if your all the answers are, are correct do let me know at the comment section one important thing to remind you that you could have used username as well but remember that username would work only at power bi service if you make use of username at uh, power bi desktop the format is like uh, domain slash then user so that will not give you the email address format over there so maybe it's better to make use of user principal name when you are making use of power bi desktop now you have learned uh, the role level security with power bi desktop service with the hands on example let us see how much you have learned how many questions you can solve raymond is the ceo of the retail so first of all you know whenever this is little shorter but you will have longer than that don't waste your time to read all this stuff over there maybe later on you can go back from your question uh, your questions uh, to scenario again but anyways we'll read it quickly raymond is the ceo of retail firm daily needs he wants to establish a data analytics team under data and information branch ramesh works as a senior project manager for a major retailer the robert and sam are from the different regions central and east and are allowed to see data from their respective regions right radha is a client for this project who has the role access of member remember the last point that we were talking about and lives in the region north the table has three fields region email and manager the table order so you'll get the fields over there again don't waste your time to read all the fields over there maybe later on you can go back from your question to the fields what would be the best optimized way to achieve the target 
create a separate report for each regional manager doesn't seem uh, to be the viable option over here use low level security without linking the two tables we know that it's important to link the two tables and make the relationship work apply row level security by creating two roles one for central and one for east after relating the two tables or only dynamic rls possible if you want to take pause you can take pause and let me know okay so the answer for this one would be number three okay May let me change the color itself apply role of security you know that whatever we have done they are talking about the same thing what is the correct way about static role level security you can test the roles in the power bi service you can test the roles in the power bi desktop only you can test the roles both in power bi service and power bi desktop you cannot test roles with the static rls it can be done only in dynamic so take a pause and try to answer well we have seen that we can do it both ways desktop also and service also with dynamic RLS, you can configure role level security exactly the way you configured it previously with only a single change. Instead of creating four roles, you need only one, uh, need to create only one role over there. Okay, take a pause and let me know the answer. Well, that is true because instead of creating four different roles for each region, we had only one role, dynamic role. And as per your login ID, it will be filtered, role level security will be applicable accordingly. What is correct about dynamic role level security to correct answer <clears throat> you do need to create multiple rows with this method again you need to make use of user principal name expression you can make use of the username expression as well but only in power bi service it is always less efficient than static rls okay take a pause and uh, answer the question two un correct answers okay the answer for this one is these two You need to make of uh, use of uh, user principal expression. You can make use of username expression, but it works only in Power BI service. The Power BI desktop, it will be like domain and slash and the username. That is not an email format. True or false. Okay. And remember that when once you are moving to next question, you cannot change it. Okay. In a workspace role level security is only applied to users with a viewer role. Other workspace members with the admin member or contributor roles are not subject to RLS and see the whole data. Whether this is true or anyone consuming reports through an app is subject to RLS. Take a pause, take a pause. Yes, this is true. Okay. So I would just color this one. Which is the correct statement about you know right I, at the end i showed you those uh, different roles over there admin member or contributors you know they are they won't subject to rls at all what is the correct statement about radha you know radha for this now as i said that with the question you can go again back to your scenario and radha is member access of member so somewhat this question is related to this one radha can see all the data since her access level is member, Radha can only see relevant data from North region. She belongs to the North region. Radha can see only relevant data from the Central and East region. Radha cannot view anything, right? Now, the only correct answer for this one would be, you can see all data because she is member. The role that she is enjoying.